Been telling you about Gray Galding, who we got here. NASCAR's youngest winner in the whole NASCAR series. Hands off, he's only 15, Jackie. Oh, look out, buddy. <laughs> Let's Not in three years, buddy. From Colonial Heights, Virginia, now residing in Statesville, North Carolina, Gray Galding. Gray, good morning again, bud. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for having me. Good to have you here. He said you... I guess you grew up listening to the big show. It hadn't been that long. Yes, sir. I always love the show. We listen to it every morning, so I'm uh, glad to be here. Well, man, it's a it's a pleasure to have you, Gray. Thank you. We, uh, we always want to keep our eyes out for new NASCAR talent. You know, Matt Kenseth, who has won a championship, and he's doing pretty well this year. Absolutely. First time we had him in, the Birdman had him wearing a chicken head. <laughs> <laughs> Matt came in. But here you Charlie. are. 15 years old, man, uh, decked out in your Toyota gear. Yes, sir. And, uh, man, sponsor. All right, well, first, let me let, let me let me tell our listeners, uh, he's the youngest driver to win a pole in the NASCAR, not on the K&N series, but in NASCAR. Let me see. I got it, dude. Do you know exactly? You were, let me see now. No, you won at Wake County. You were 13 years and seven months. Yes, sir. Mm. Wow. But you were 15 years, two months, and 15 days Youngest driver to win a pole in NASCAR. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. And, and and what track was that? That was at uh, Richmond International Raceway, and uh, that was really cool to to be able to get the pole there because I'm right there in Colonial Heights, which is like 15 minutes away. So really cool to get the pole there in front of my home crowd, I'd say. So. And uh, man, before we jump ahead to see what it what it means to you to have a sponsorship like Krispy Kreme Donuts, man. Yes, sir. You know, Bojangles sponsored me, and that, I thought that was pretty cool. All the chicken <laughs> I could eat. <laughs> Krispy Kreme and uh, True Moo chocolate milk. Yes, sir. Whoa. Yeah, that's, uh, it's a huge honor to, uh, to be able to be sponsored by Krispy Kreme, which is, you know, 75-year-old brand, and, uh, and bringing on True Moo chocolate milk this year. Uh, very fortunate to have them. I mean, what's better than, you know, donuts and chocolate milk? So uh, good fit there. <laughs> Uh, we also have Toyota on board with us. Uh, we got a lot of great partners that uh, help us out and uh, get this deal rolling. So uh, very fortunate to have them. That's awesome. Now, now we're talking about that. All right, how do you get to hear this young? What you're doing? Well, you started racing when you were three. You waited till you were three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I waited. Till, yes, sir. <laughs> start going. And, yeah. and, and, and you start off on uh, on go karts or bikes. What did you start off? Well, I started racing out uh, at the age of three on dirt bikes. Uh, uh-huh. I did that until I was nine years old. Um. Uh, my parents got me to start. My dad and my grandpa, you know, they got me into the racing from watching it uh, at a very young age. And I uh, did that until I was nine. And when I was... Uh, and then and then your dad, Dwayne, said, when are you going to do something with your life, yeah. boy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly what he said. <laughs> well, we got into Bandolero cars. I got the opportunity uh, from a team owner, which is Steve Irvin. Uh, he's now my team, team owner again, so we got to reunite. So uh, that was really cool, but... Uh, to get that opportunity at you know age nine and and spending my whole time on two wheels and then having them go over and make that jump, I won my first race and uh, you know the rest is history in the Bandolero. So I knew right then that's what I wanted to do in four wheels. Also, the youngest driver to win in a Legends car. Yes, sir. Now, I did great during my Legends career. I I finished third in the Nationals. That was my highlight. Oh, okay. I, I, oh, I that won, ain't bad. I won eight race, eight heat races. Eight heat races, okay. Uh, but I never could win a feature. But in <laughs> fairness, he started about 40 years after you did. <laughs> <laughs> but, but from what you can do, jumping in a car and winning right off the mm. bat, you have that natural talent. You realize you. what is out there. I guess you do realize what is out there. In front of you, man. Yes, sir. Well, I realize that's for sure because, you know, knowing that everybody's giving me these opportunities, uh, my family, my friends, everybody that's uh, making uh, making this deal go around and, and giving me the tools that I need to, to go to the top. So um, it's really cool to be able to do what I'm doing at such a young age, but I'm still a typical 15-year-old. You know, I enjoy hanging out with friends and stuff and like stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I know what my, my day job is, is which to go out and win races and win some hearts and, and sell donuts and give true moo chocolate milk out. So uh, I, I love what <laughs> I do. You're pretty calm and collected, though. What What's it like racing in Daytona, Bristol, Dover, and your home track in Richmond? Um, well, it's really cool. I mean, to not only be racing at short tracks um, like NASCAR has now, you know, our next race is June 1st, uh, which is Bowman Gray, but to be able to race at Richmond, Phoenix, you know, Bristol. Bristol was a blast. I mean, mm. nothing's better than th- some, some Thunder Valley, I'd right. say. But uh, to get the pole at Richmond and uh, dominate the race, and unfortunately we got caught up in a crash, uh, just one of those racing in- incidents. But uh, 
I know what I need to do next time, and uh, hopefully it, uh, I'll learn. I'll learn for the better. And uh, but just to be able to race at those kind of tracks and learn each and every time I get on the track is always very important. You know, Hanson, this is akin to that to that fifteen year old kid who was uh, playing in the Masters golf tournament. Yeah, in golf, oh yeah, you know, absolutely. absolutely. That was cool. You know, that's something like that. And and it takes where you are at fifteen, hard work and sacrifices. How do you balance that with school time? Are you homeschooled? Yes, sir. I'm homeschooled. Um, my manager, Rusty, he helps me out with that stuff. But uh, I know. I'm always traveling a lot, traveling a lot, and uh, I'm having to balance that out. But I know how important you know education is. Knowing that I, you always need a backup plan because uh, there, there's there's nothing for sure. But uh, my destiny is to go out and and win races and uh, be at the top level of the sport, in which I want to be racing the Cup Series mm. Cup Series here pretty soon. If I could give you some educational advice, <laughs> right? I know Uncle John was say, go ahead and put college off for a while. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. You know, I've still got four years of yeah. eligibility left, so I can fall back. And it worked on. for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And look how this has turned out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. And yet it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, that is just awesome. And you just seem, I mean, you know, the thing about this race and stuff, it is mental. And to be your age and that young with your head together, mm -hmm. thank you. That is a plus right there, buddy. That. You know, we could be talking to the greatest NASCAR driver ever. Absolutely, you, you never know. There are no guarantees, but the way he started and the way he's going, I mean, you 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 kind of feel that. And the fact you're talking about, you know, home educated, you're getting a lot of education going around the country, meeting people too, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. I think that's what's cool about you know what I do. Um, I'm, I'm able to travel and see things I wouldn't be able to see, but to be able to meet people and shake their hands and ask them what they do and, and uh, just, just to interact with all the fans. And, and I know how important the fans are to not only, uh, you know, NASCAR, but y y'all's radio show as well. So it's, uh, it's really cool to, uh, to be able to reach out and connect with those people because I know how very important it is. And uh, you will be at the track this weekend at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so how can fans, if they would like to meet you, the future of NASCAR right here <laughs> this weekend? Well, I'll be able to uh, at Toyota Racing. Um, I'll be there uh, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, you'll be able to meet me there. Uh, we actually have all my apparel on uh, on the Team Realtree trailer. So that's pretty cool as well. But uh, it's all about going out there and uh, being able to meet people, especially at Charlotte. So I'll be doing a lot of appearances and uh, do what I need to do when I'm not racing. But also, you can follow me uh, on Twitter, which is at Greg Alding and at Facebook. So social media is a, a big deal, too. So you can also follow me I was going to ask you that. about that. You being young like that, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're into the social media. Oh, absolutely. I, lo I love social media. can't beat it. So, so once again, if you'd like to follow, it's Gray Galding, G-R-A-Y-G-A-U-L-D-I-N-G. Gray Galding. Yes, sir. You go to Twitter and to Facebook. And a whole deal. A lot man. of poise for a 15-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that, is, that is something, man. Well, congratulations. You seem like a good kid. And uh, uh, let me see, the website, graygalding.com, where you can go on there. Yes, Did sir. I cover that? All right, good deal. And uh, your dad, Dwayne, I know you're proud. Your boy, ain't you, Dwayne? Will be too, buddy. <laughs> man, and on the wall, Rusty, Eric, and Mark. I know y'all looking after y'all looking after Gray. Any advice that you need, Gray, feel free to come to me. Yeah. At, at, okay, at yes, sir. Time. Be right here. <laughs> and bring Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, we, we will. We <laughs> will. <laughs> donuts and milk. We got it for you. <laughs> I have to say, I appreciate the assortment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell your thing. <laughs> we are partaking nice in, assortments, too. Partaking in the front lobby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gray. Pleasure meeting you, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank right, you guys very much. Soon, man. I appreciate it. Thanks All for having right, me on. All right, then.